Hello there and welcome back. We are back in Tell Me Why again. Um, just a quick thing before we do start. If you like the shorter videos where we just do a chapter or a part at a time, let me know. If you want to see a bit of a longer video, an hour, an hour and a half video, let me know that as well. Comment section down below. If you do like this series, please hit a like and subscribe if you find yourself coming back on the regular. But for now, Back into the story. We just went to the shop, spoke to Tessa, got a little bit of information there. So, hopefully, Uncle Eddie is just as responsive. Who is the guy that arrested us for killing our mum? This should be fun. This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. But what about drunk bears? <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office, upstairs. We're still controlling Damn. Allison. They still got this creepy mascot, huh? Local hero. What? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. He's Delos Crossing's longest serving officer. <sighs> of course, it's locked. Hold on. I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. Oh, that's all just public safety stuff. Nothing that interesting. Let us take you for a ride. Want to see what a police officer does on the job? Register for a ride-along program. For more information, ask Chief Brown. Oh, really? Where the fuck did you go? Okay. I am the law. The fucking beaver. Hmm. Actually, let's not make jokes about beavers. It's too easy. Well, should I decide the wild world of accounting isn't for me? Uh, can't really picture you in the uniform. Really? I think I could pull it off. Whether you should be picturing 100 percent college tuition paid? Damn. Maybe I should have joined the National Guard. Beats having your credit card stolen by an on Too little, too late. Oh, that's still not cleaned up? Assholes. I wonder if the black oyster catchers were still nesting during the spill. God, I hope not. Hmm. I don't think you should be, uh... Imagine your new sister in a uniform, to be fair, but, you know. Okay, we need to go this way. Home sweet home. Hmm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Hmm. It's freezing in here. Oh, we got some missing people, dog. Twenty-five years, Derbus, December the seventh, nineteen ninety-five, or five inches. One of them. Uh, Stella Reyes was last seen in Anchorage, Alaska. Clothing description and direction of travel are unknown. They never did find him. This happened when we were kids, right? Yeah. Marianne freaked out and wouldn't drive after dark for a few weeks. Remember, Mr. Haynes? Vaguely. He had that workshop in his garage, right? Made those huge glass sculptures. Yeah. He's been missing for a couple months. Damn. Always liked his art. There's something going on here, that's what I think. There's something brewing. I can't 
can't believe they're still sending psychiatric patients to prison. Um, that is messed up. Yeah, I heard about that. It's so messed up. Like, it, it, mm. That's not barrack. I mean, that's like old school fucking shit, dog. I've never said that before in my entire life. I don't know why. Do you I remember just went Dan around. and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and mm. make out in the Vecchi's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody decide to become an adult? Probably around about the time they all grew up. <laughs> no offense. We have a memory here somewhere. Shit! Stop touching everything, Butterfingers! Sorry. Jesus, Louisa. Dropping shit, boy. The Delos Crossing Raiders. They got a basketball team now? Yep. A few cops from this station and some firefighters from the next town over. How good are they? Mmm. Eddie's within earshot, right? I think so. Then they're great. <laughs> they fucking ain't. <laughs> I'll tell you that for nine. Excuse me a second. Just actually noticed. Um. There we go. I do apologize about that. There is a memory here, but... Is. There is one. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Uh, oh no, it was her birthday. I completely forgot. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. Okay. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jay? Yep. He, uh, he died last year putting himself between Dee and a bear. Oh, damn. Poor Dee. It was for a happy birthday, motherfucker. Leave an art, draw a dog, wish her happy birthday. Should we wish her happy birthday? Wish her happy birthday. Maybe she won't notice that I added it afterward. What's she gonna notice? What did we put? Happy birthday, Denise, with a cake. Hey, you didn't put my name on it, bitch. Knock your head off. Damn it. It's locked. It's well, what did you expect, dum dum? It's a police station. I don't know any of those people. <laughs> I don't know any of those. So, look at. Oh, it's gonna be upstairs, that memory thing. Oh, well, that's pleasant. Oh, I'm fucking looking at that. There you go. Hey! Whew, that is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh huh. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Delos Crossing. Yes. Also, as So, come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. 
Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. I can't imagine you would. Excuse me. Can't imagine you would be. <sighs> Something's in the way. Oh, there's some more swift to look at here. Don't wanna... <laughs> Man, they are never gonna catch this guy. What exactly did he do? Stealing from mailboxes? This guy keeps stealing out of people's mailboxes. Asshole snagged a box of fancy washi tape I ordered online. <laughs> uh, see, I was picturing an actual mailbox bandit. You know, like, hopping around on a post with a little mask on the door. Huh? You know... The mailbox is the bandit. Sorry, it was a bad joke. Okay. Uh, what we got here? Box not as fast. Three absolute loops. Does it? Do apologize about that. Office grabs myself and dispatch two three nine a Woodland Road to respond to theft. But we had a Lawrence Cooper. Cooper reported that his mailbox had been broken into. I checked it two days ago because I was waiting on my new phone. They made me pay some shipping to get it here on time, but I said I ain't having that shit. I ain't gonna pay what I owe and not a dime. I'm going to pay what I owe and not a dime more. They backed down and said it would be here by Tuesday, but this morning the lock was smashed to shit and there was nothing in there. Probably punk ass for dawn? Go down? Toe Down is a street alias for Jarvis A. Solo, known to myself and Officer Greggs formerly. Went to A, two last known address, Almada Plaza Apartments. Cooper has also stated that he had been home all night prior to the incident. Heard nothing unusual. Cooper went on to state when I find Toe Down. I'm going to stuff his ass up his own ass. <coughs> Cooper was cautioned against making criminal threats. Cooper then stated his willingness to prosecute Solo. And was directed to seek charges with the prosecutor's office. I mean, you know. Can I read this one too? Or. There we go. Uh, Dear Chief Brown and staff, the letter is to inquire about the mailbox bandit. It's been nine days since, and I still haven't had any mail. My granddaughter Madison is on her honeymoon at the Great House Resort in Jamaica. Ricky does computer work. She said she'd write, and you know Madison keeps her word. I called every day for nine days, and every time Rose makes some kind of excuse, he says because I didn't write the recommendation for her son. Tell her that has nothing to do with doing her job. Stealing my mail may not seem like much to you, but getting away with crime makes the criminal more bold. How soon before you're after the mailbox killer? I remind you, we donate it to the policeman's fund every year, and it isn't easy for us, but we do it because we believe in law enforcement, unlike others, a wit. Uh, but if so this is the really type of service lot, we can huh? expect perhaps I mean, five Shut up! Works, so, yeah. Is that so weird? Okay. It's just hard to pick. So sure this kid's spending her weekends here. This and where do you think ourselves. kids spend their weekends around here? I don't know. Hanging out at a mall? The nearest mall is all the way back in Juneau. I went once a year to buy clothes with Eddie and did not hang. Alright, good stuff, man. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff. Open? <laughs> Says me. Eh, yeah, it's locked. Okay, it's a police station. I mean, I can't imagine that everything would be open in a mm. police station, but you know. Eddie must have locked it already. You lock that door, too. He's a good <sighs> cop. What do you know? Still locked. Alright, let's go upstairs. Fuck this. We're off. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Eddie. Tyler, you coming? Nah, bitch. God. How do cop stations always look like this? I'm guessing this is where they stash all the guns and stuff. Oh shit, dog. Well, it's not exactly Fort Meade, but yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell him you should stay you away. Think you can find some harsh. files about Marianne in the archives? Archives are off limits. I don't know, but 
It's off limits anyway. Maybe Eddie would show us her file? No. I fucking doubt it. <laughs> I don't know how good Eddie is, but I fucking doubt he's going to show you the files, dog. He found up brown. Okay, so I don't want to go in there just yet. Just want to make sure that there's nothing else to look at around here. Finding killed salmon. Right. I mean, good shit. Okay, so it looks like this is the office that we need to go in. Let's go. Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. Okay. I mean... Didn't acknowledge me, but yeah. those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same. <sighs> Something's in the way. Okay, break room. That's the holding cell. The break room is probably gonna be this place. Whoops. We have another memory. Somewhere. Okay, so it is over there. That way? down in here and I'm gonna ask you a few questions okay okay you okay yeah I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here I would too I've kind of opened that door which is gonna be a bit of a problem for anyone who's you know trying to get into the police okay. station Let's go in. Get yeah. Tyla. Alyssa. Yep. Yeah. Allison. Yeah, how about that coffee we were talking about? Yeah, bitch. You need to go in the fucking room, dick. What an asshole. Okay, so that's where the coffee is. Anything in here that we can look at? Arctic puppies, Musha's little helpers, Snormies, and Lighting Howlins. Did you give me a key for that? No, of course you fucking. Yep, it's locked. Hey, didn't Tessa buzz Dawn for smoking weed behind the store once? Yep, but Uncle Eddie let him off with a warning. Hey, is this Crazy D's locker? Uh, uh, let's go with our sink side. So I don't know whether it is yep. one of the best cops in town I think or not. So. We need a key to open it. What? Why would you? What? Hmm? What? Why would you want to open Crazy D's locker? <clears throat> oh, okay. What's on your mind? Just thinking about how we slept in that corner over there. Yeah. On that paper-thin mattress from the cell. It could have been a pillow top and I wouldn't have slept a wink. I don't know how you come here every week. 
I've been here ten minutes, and it's already fucking me up. Stop thinking about this. It does still hurt. I, I'd say it does still hurt. It never really stopped hurting. Hey, do you have any reoccurring nightmares about that night? Yeah. Why? Well, remember that nice lady from social services who picked us up? Oh, what was her name? Uh, Sandy, I think? Yeah. I used to dream about her a lot. Um, sorry, what? Yeah. It would always start out pretty normal, like maybe sitting in the living room with Marianne doing a sewing lesson, and then suddenly she would turn into Sandy, and she would hold us in her arms, pulling us in tighter and tighter until I would wake up practically choking. Jesus. Uh, don't be weird with Eddie. You really want to fucking say that? I mean, I don't know. So, are things going to be weird at all between you and Eddie? I took the gift, Allison. I'm trying to make an effort. Thank you. I know. I just want everything to be cool. It will be. Go with Red Go. Let's go? Yep. Excuse me. Okay, let's go and make the brew. Ugh, they've let this place get gross. I'm not that hungry. No. No, I'm I'm not that You think they'll mind either. if I take one? Same cookies last week. These are definitely the same cookies that were here last week, but knock yourself out. Oh. Check out this masterpiece. <laughs> you made it? Uh-huh. I glued it to the pot one day when I was bored, and nobody has bothered to peel it off. Don't know if I actually want to move this on. This off. is heavier than I expected. <clears throat> Just give me two seconds while I look around everywhere. Delos News, Police Street, Fast Council, or Reconsidered Budget. Okay, that is whatever. I don't really care. <laughs> that ain't my shit, dog. I'm not going in. Uh, okay, I don't think there's anything else here. Allison, how about that coffee we were talking about? Shut the fuck up. Oh, okay. Oh! That's what was holding the door. The thing was holding the door. Okay. How is this still warm? Let's make coffee. You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? You okay? What did you lie about? No. Do you ever regret? No. No way. Well... Maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? Down to a lie. Remember the night the twins agreed to lie? That's the thing I just got. Achievement. Hmm. I don't know where the... What's the memory? Probably in this room. It's the first time I've been in here since... That night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vase. Here. 
have a seat. All right. Ah, damn it. Oh. Sorry. Huh, they kept this? What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. is collectible. New collectible, the ice king. I don't know if I'm going to get all of those collectibles, but I'll, I'll probably get most of them. I'm pretty sure Chief Brown is done with his phone call by now. We just come in here to get Let's go speak to the brownie brownie boy. Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. little bastard you're awfully quiet yeah sorry trying to deal but it's a lot don't know this hey sorry that took so long Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, you remember this guy? Yeah, of course. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan, back in Delos Crossing. It's uh, good to be back. And just look at you, a man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed? I always say children are the future. I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah. Not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh, yeah? Uh, Marianne was worried about something. What were her last days like? Uh, Marianne was worried about something. Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom never knew where to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually, it's the other way around. Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for... weeks. Maybe a month before. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. Can we take a look at her file? 
Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, or police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. <laughs> but you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Chief Brown, are you gonna help us? Or are you gonna be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be <laughs> sure. I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal. And you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please, let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her, but it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? Uh, Eddie did his best for me, being kept apart was wrong. I'm gonna go with being kept apart was wrong because... I, I mean, it is, it is wrong. You know what I mean? <sighs> Look, Uncle, separating us like that did not help me heal. If anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Being apart was that miserable. I didn't know you felt that way, little moose. It was hard to talk to you about it. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. Look, we've all fucked up. And we've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. <laughs> they want to send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. The fuck is that? Yo, yo, why has this become a horror game all of a sudden? What the fuck is that? Hmm. I, hmm. Okay. I always got some shit, dog. Stop! Can we continue one more scene? No, you didn't. 
I killed her. And when they come, that's what we're gonna tell them. No, no. Yes, we look out for each other. That's what goblins do. And brothers and sisters, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. <laughs> Oh my fucking god, she did it and not him. He's... He's paid... Chapter 1 is done, ladies and gentlemen, but... What? Oh, that is some roller coaster. Okay, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. That threw me through a fucking loop. Holy shit, boy. She did it and not him. She spent literally like 10 years paying. I mean, don't get, don't get me wrong. It was self-defense. But wow. Okay, this game is... this game is... yeah, okay. Hmm. I am... I'm loving this game. Um, I've got to say... The... just... the emotion, the storyline, the characters, I am fully invested in this game. We're going to be playing Chapter 2 and Chapter 3. Um, the full game, don't worry about that one. Um, If you're liking this so far, leave a like on the video. If you find yourself coming back here regular and you want to watch more of this, why not subscribe to the channel? 68% um, of you that watch these videos are not subscribed to the channel, so just subscribe. It's free. And... Holy shit, we will join part two. August Aiden Black and Erica Lindbeck is uh, Allison and Tyler, and they do a really, really good job as well. I've got to say, they do a really, really good job. Oof. <clears throat> This game is beautiful as well, graphically, oh, absolutely on point. I would say that I, I wish I had a more powerful computer to see it better. Um, there's got to be something with that person that stood around. Um, I know they called it the Mad Hunter, but there's got to be something with that. Maybe that's a manifestation of her of the mum's psychosis, if you will. I don't know whether that's a mental health thing or whatever, but we'll, I mean, we're going to find out, obviously, but that's got to be some manifestation um, somewhere along the lines. This story has been amazing. Please do follow, like, subscribe, everything else. And I will see you all in part two in, well, chapter two. Okay, so we get um, a little bit of a, what everybody did in this game, which is fucking awesome, actually. Alison was happy that Tyler accepted Eddie's peace offering. 74% of people accepted the ring, only 15% refused it, and 11% threw the ring in the water. So we were with the majority there. 81% solved the door puzzle, 19% Busted open door.
puzzle, Alison was delighted to solve the princess riddle for her brother. Tyler felt supported by Alison's trust at the store. 52% chose Tyler's memory and 48% chose Alison's memory. So very, very, very close. I chose Tyler's memory there because I thought maybe it would support him a little bit more. Rather than kind of saying you're wrong and everything's a little bit different. Now knowing that Alison was the one that did it. Maybe Alison's memory would have given us a little bit more of an insight into... Why? I don't know. Tyler was reassured of his bond to Allison when she sided with him at the station. 70% sided with Tyler and 38% sided with Eddie. So a lot of people did not side with Eddie. I think, again, siding with Tyler, it's going to make it a little bit easier on him. It kind of gives him that sort of validation and everything like that, which is what I would do if I was... You know, not a normal person. I can want to give validation to him and everything like that. Knowing what we know now, I think I'd have still made the same decision. Tyler earned Sam's respect. 55% called out Sam and 45% didn't call out Sam. So we were in the slight majority on that one that called out Sam. Tessa opened up to the twins about Mary Ann. 47% of people learned the truth, 24% didn't get an answer, and 29% antagonised Tessa. So we were in the, you know, we are in the nice one. I don't, I think, me as a person, I don't like antagonising people. As a, a genuine person, I don't like antagonising people. So, you know, I, I kind of play these games the way that I would play them, or the way that I would uh, act in real life. So I wouldn't antagonise people, I would try and sort of work it out, be diplomatic and things like that. Eddie felt rejected by Alison when she didn't side with him at the station. 30% sided with Eddie, 70% sided with Tyler. So basically, we were in the majority of people that sided with Tyler. Go well, fuck yourself, Eddie, we're not going to side with you because at the end of the day, brother, sister, you would probably side with your brother uh anyway that is the end of the chapter thank you very much for watching the video thinking of breaking and entering a police archive go big or go home Ooh. that's gonna be uh that's that's, that's gonna be hmm Breaking into a police archive. I don't know about that one, Chief. No pun intended. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you. Chapter 2. Tell me why.